I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at using your Nest Learning thermostat to optimize your settings to save money with a time-of-use electric plant. Um, so if you're with PGE, like I am in California, or many other uh, utilities that have a smart metering system, they offer different kinds of plans. Um, one of them is a time-of-use plan, where you basically build more for electricity during certain peak times and less for electricity during off-peak times. And that means that if you can shift your consumption outside of the peak window, you usually save you know, 10 or even 20 cents per kilowatt hour on your electric, which is pretty substantial. Um, and I'm, I'm showing this for my PGE plan, but again, you know, there's a lot of different uh, plans like this, and this will be relevant to a lot of them. Um, so you know, how do you shift your consumption out of that window? Um, a couple of things, you know, it's probably not practical to turn all your lights off during your window. For example, my time of use window on my plan is um, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. on weekdays. Um, so obviously I'm not going to shut all my lights off for five hours uh, every weeknight. Um, but what I can do is reduce the use of major appliances during that time. And in general, these are um, dishwashers, washing machines, and most importantly, heating and cooling. Um, so my HVAC system, when it's running, uses about 3,000 watts. That's a pretty substantial amount of power. Um, and, you know, as other lifestyle changes, so doing your laundry overnight, doing your dishes overnight, those are pretty easy things to do. Um, it's really no problem to, you know, start the, the dishwasher on a delay at 11 p.m. and then the dishes are still ready in the morning. Um, but, you know, I find, again, with the uh, HVAC, it's very important, especially because uh, the temperatures can get super high outside here in California. They can be in the hundreds, um, and uh, it's very high consumer of energy. Um, it's a lot harder to shift use of that system outside of the peak times. But there are ways that you can do that automatically with your Nest Learning thermostat. Um, and it's you know, not going to probably eliminate all use of the system during peak times, but it can at least delay or slow down your need to use that system and save you a little bit of money in the aggregate. So here's the uh, web interface for my Nest Learning thermostat. I'm gonna go, it's a little cut off, but I'm gonna go down to schedule down here. And that's gonna pull up my current thermostat schedule. So again, from the, the window I'm trying to pull usage out of is uh, the 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. timeframe. Um, and again, this varies depending on the uh, time of use plan that your particular utility offers. Um, but that's what I have for mine. So there's a whole hodgepodge and mess of different uh, settings in here, um, depending on the day. Uh, it's, you know, learned my routine, which is weird, um, and it's accurately reflecting that weirdness. Um, I'm going to try to make this a little bit more logical, and I'm also going to try to make it fit with the time of use uh, kind, of mon uh, kind of monitoring. So first I'm going to go through and just remove all of these set points that it's put in there automatically. And I've shown in other videos how the Nest Learning Thermostat will actually learn your routine um, and it'll put in these set points automatically um, based on how you actually use your system. And um, that works great to make it comfortable in your house and to follow your general routine. But again, we want to tweak this schedule so that it's going to save us a little bit of money. Um, now, the next thing I want to do is at that 4 p.m. window, I want to set the thermostat to a higher value. And it doesn't have to be you know, ridiculous. It's not going to put it at 76 necessarily because it does have to stay at that temperature for a couple hours. Um, but I'm going to say starting at uh, 4 p.m., I want to make it 73 degrees. That's a pretty good number to have there. Um, and I'm going to add these in for each of the weekdays again. Uh, I'm not worrying about weekends because weekend is uh, an off-peak time in my plant. If weekend's an on-peak time, then you could do the same thing um, for the weekend. So I'm going to set this to 73 across the board. I'm just going to add these, drag these little dots in. And then each day at 4 p.m., we're going to be at 73 degrees. Now, overnight, I like it to be colder in the house. So when we get down to um, you know the evening and it's, uh, it's getting to be, say, 9 p.m. at the end of my window and uh, back to my off-peak billing, I want it to be... Uh, colder again in the house. I'm going to go to 9. I'm paying much less for this electric, so hey, why don't we just make it 71? That'll be nice and chilly overnight. And I'm going to go ahead and add these into the system here. And again, I'm just getting this nice um, kind of line up here. And so finally, so this is, you know, 
basically on either side of my window at four, it's gonna set to a higher temperature of 73. Um, it means the system will be used less. And then at nine, um, let's just go wild and cool the house down as far as I like it to be. Maybe I'll even go back and change this to a lower temperature later. Um, and then, you know, so basically in this middle window when I'm paying the most for electric, I'm at a fairly, you know, higher setting on the thermostat. But let's go even a little bit further. So this window before, I'm actually paying less for electric too. This is still off peak. So why don't I pre-cool the house so that hopefully by the time we reach four, we're not at 70 degrees and the thermostat's gonna click on soon. Maybe we can be down to, you know, 70 degrees here. Um, and then for the first hour or even two hours of this high peak window, even though it's set at 73, the system will just be not in use because the temperature in the house will be slowly drifting up until it gets to that 73 degree number. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to put um, let's say about, it's at four. So I'm gonna set it to 2 p.m., about two hours out from the start of that window. I'm gonna drop these in and I'm gonna make it a 69 degree temperature. So let's go through and add all of these nice 69 numbers in here. Okay, so um, this is where I am with the system now. So at 2 p.m. to start to pre-cool the house, it's going to set to 69. For two hours, it's going to be working on getting the temperature as close to that 69 number as possible. Maybe it'll be 70 or something, but in any event, it's cooling the house down quite a bit. Um, at uh, you know four, when this peak window starts and I start paying more for electric, I'll hopefully already be pretty low. And then the house will just basically be freewheeling and slowly, slowly, slowly increasing. Maybe it'll be out here even before the system has to turn on. For the rest of the window, it'll oscillate around that 73 degree temperature. Um, again, they'll have had a, probably a couple hours of no usage during the peak. And then when the peak is over and I'm back to off peak, uh, we'll just take any residual heat from that 73 degree setting and uh, yank it out of the house now that the electric is cheap again. Um, over time, you know, even though I'm setting it to a lower setting here because I'm paying less for electricity and pre-cooling the house, this should um, save me money because I'm not using that higher peak uh, electric. And then again, you know, once it's off peak, I can cool things down and keep it nice and comfy for the night. So I'm going to try this out. Um, you can rest assured not only are you saving money, you're also doing a good thing for your local utility and the environment. Because usually the reason there's a peak window is that this is a time when people are using more power. Um, you know, there people come home from work in the late afternoon, they set their AC to a low setting, suddenly everybody's using power all at once, and um, it's the grid has to often they have to turn on new power plants just to meet that demand. So if you can shift some of your usage to an earlier time, not only are you getting an incentive with the off-peak pricing, but you're also um, helping because you're not contributing to power usage in that high peak and uh, maybe you'll help them in some small way, not have to shut, it, shut uh, turn on another uh, power plant or something that would be more polluting. Um, and uh, you know, in any event, it's just taking some load off of the grid. Um, so let's try this out. Let's see overall uh, how it works in terms of the comfort level in the house. And um, you know, also taking a look at uh, whether this is gonna save some money in the long run. Um, that's tweaking your nest schedule to fit with a time of use plan. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.